All right, mill on the head. You strip the head down. I already started on this one. But what you want to do is take your caliper, hit it right there on the lip, read it, do it as many times as round as you can. And if you got a small permanent marker like these, sometimes it helps to write it on the edge before you start. You know, do it just about all the corners and everything. I start with a 220 grit sandpaper. Then I go to 500. And I go to 1,000. Sorry about that. I'll pause it so I, should t so I could take some reading. So far, I got 12 thousandths off of this. <clears throat> All right, finished milling it, sanding it, whatever you want to call it. This spark plug is where I normally have my gap. Just inside. And that's how much I take off. That's about a, almost a 30 thousandths, I think. That was a one zero nine. So that was twenty seven thousandths. So and there's that. Nice and smooth. And this was a used head. This one had some dimples right here. All those dimples are gone. They're pretty bad. Because the one that this came off of, I forget what happened, but something like got in the cylinder and it was hitting the piston and hitting it. That's why you need to run an air filter. Because that was right there in the compression ring. Let's see if we can get that. See right there is part of it. What's left of it. Now I'm going to shine this up a little bit before I'm done with it. And I am going to pour it out. This is the before. That one you can't really see. This is after the porting. All those sharp notches, gone. And don't forget. Get underneath the seat. Okay. 
a little bit more cleaned up. Now, all I'll do is run the, a sanding drum through in there. To eliminate all the pores.